Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to share with you guys a quick um, spice cabinet slash uh, coffee cabinet organizational video. So the reason I included um, coffee into my spice cabinet is because I have very limited space, uh, cabinet space in my kitchen. So with the new baby coming, I decided to go ahead and clear out my coffee cabinet and kind of just move that over with the spices since I don't have that much coffee, um, that many coffee things. Uh, me and my husband don't drink coffee. He cannot have caffeine and I just really don't drink coffee. I can maybe count the number of times I drink coffee on one hand, uh, maybe twice a year and if I do um, drink it it's usually a cold coffee from Starbucks so I don't drink coffee neither does my husband so um, I decided why not move that into the spice cabinet since I did have some extra space um, and we just have the few things that we need um, for when our guests come over they can enjoy a cup of coffee so I put it all together and it worked out rather nicely so I'm going to share with you guys what I did in the space um, in order for it to function for us and I that way I have the um, since I cleared out the coffee cabinet I do have space for when the baby comes I can put all of her things there um, in that spare cabinet um, as far as bottles or formula or pacifiers things like things that I might need um, for the baby so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what I did in this space this is the cabinet behind me um, this is the spice slash coffee cabinet so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what we did in this space in order for it to function for us so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and um, hope you guys enjoy it also I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip just really quickly so that you can see what my cabinet looked like before so this is what it looked like before. So as you can see, um, I didn't have a whole lot of spices. It wasn't too disorganized, but I just kind of wanted to touch it up, um, kind of just make it a little bit more neat, and then also um, add the coffee things in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around so that you guys can see what I did in this space. So let me go ahead and get the turn around and we'll get started. Okay guys, so this is the spice cabinet slash coffee cabinet where I keep my spices as well as my coffee so as you've seen from the previous clip it wasn't too bad um, I didn't have my coffee products in there just my spices um, it wasn't too bad I did have a lot of extra space um, but I decided to go ahead and just kind of clean up the cabinet get rid of things I wasn't using and just kind of organize it in a way that worked for me um, and a way that made the cabinet look just a whole lot nicer and cleaner so I'm going to go ahead and start over here with this uh, on the left side. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this door. So what you'll notice as I open up the door is that I chose to keep my spices in the same spot as before. So um, I really like them here. They're really close to the stove. So when I open the cabinet door, they're really easy to get to. Um, so I chose to just leave them here. Um, I did keep them on the same three-tiered shelf. So this shelf is by Made Smart. And I purchased this shelf some years back from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I really love the way it holds the spices. So I just went ahead and kept that in here. The only different, um, the difference here is that I put all of my spices into these jars. So one thing that was driving me really crazy was uh, the spice jars were all different um, brands and different. they were just different shapes and sizes. So it was kind of throwing me off throwing this whole thing off um, I like things to look uniform just because it looks a whole lot nicer and neater so I chose to purchase these jars from Amazon um, I believe they were like $14 for 14 jars or something like that um, I can't remember exactly but um, I purchased these from Amazon and I loved these in particular because it was it came with 14 um, or 15 exactly what I needed for my space um, I don't me and my husband don't use a lot of spices and the spices that we do use we use all the time so it is perfect for our needs um, and I loved this set also because it did come with um, the jars the lids as well as these clear labels that you see up front they were pre-printed labels that came with them so I really love that because I didn't have to make my own I just used the ones that came um, with the jars and then they also came with another set of labels that are for the tops of the jars 
so they also came with these black labels that you could label the lids with which I really love so they are labeled on the bottom um, as well as on the top so I really love that about them and I love the clean look of it I love how they're all the same so I really love that about it as you can see I do have a couple of empty jars back there I have four empty jars which I do plan to fill um, these three here I have some spices already that I know what um, that I'm gonna fill those with so that'll leave me one extra jar um, and if I do need some more um, space or I need more spices I can always uh, move these just a little bit closer and add a jar to each um, shelf but for right now I think I will leave it like that uh, we have everything that we need <clears throat> we don't have extra and we don't really try out a lot of spices um, every now and then we'll try out a new spice but I will keep it off to the side until we um, decide whether or not we like it if we like it then I will fill the jar back there if we don't then I will usually give it away to someone or get rid of it because I don't like keeping things that we're not using in our cabinets because that's what clutters up your cabinets really quick so yeah we have everything we need and it works out perfectly for us um, over here on the side I just took a command hook and these are the same ones that I've used in all my previous videos I really love the hooks you guys they work for lots of different things um, but I chose to put my silicone funnel so when I purchased these jars they did come with um, they sent me a funnel so I chose to put that there so that when I need to refill um, these again or I need to add some spices I have my funnel right right here by the spices inside the cabinet where I can find it and it's easy to get to and I'm not searching around in a drawer somewhere for it so I really love that it's out of the way another thing that I wanted to mention to you guys is with these jars is I added the dates um, expiration dates for each spice on the bottom of the um, on the bottom of the container so I just used a sharpie marker so I used a permanent sharpie marker and I added the date when it expires on the bottom and it will stay on there you guys and it will not fall off um, but if you do need to change it you just use a little cotton ball with some alcohol and it comes right off so it's easy to switch out your expiration dates on the bottom um, as you need to so I am gonna go ahead and move up to the second shelf and I hope that I don't sh uh, the camera is not so shaky so and please excuse me you guys if I'm out of breath I sound out of breath I'm kind of um, further along in my pregnancy so it makes it a little bit harder to breathe so just bear with me um, just bear with me because it's it's kind of hard to breathe so right here on the second shelf I have these little jars these are eight ounce jars and you probably remember these from my baking cabinet I use these for powdered sugar um, I purchased these at Target I really love them for all sorts of things I chose to get the eight ounce for uh, my peppercorns as well as my pepper because when you buy pepper um, the pepper cans they're not that big so um, usually a whole can will fit in here um, so I really love that because I can put the whole can in here and it fits perfectly as well as the peppercorns so um, yeah I really love these jars these are eight ounces I love that I so I bought the um, the mason jar lids to go with these they did come with their own lids but I chose to uh, buy some mason jar ones I love these because they have the expiration where you can put the expiration date now I didn't put it on the peppercorns because we tend to go through them rather quickly so I didn't feel the need to put the expiration date but you can always put the expiration date right there and that's what I love about them so I love that everything stays fresh in these jars so in here I just put my pepper and then I did label them um, all on the side here with the labels that were um, came with the spice jars so I just put pepper right there and then right in the back I have my sea salt as well as um, some regular salt so right there I have my regular salt and then sea salt and I have both because we use the sea salt for our uh, salt and pepper grinders when we're uh, we like to use these on steaks um, because the seasoning tends to fall off when you have them on the grill and then we use regular salt and pepper um, just almost every day so another thing that I did here 
is I only did it for the pepper and the salt. I didn't do it for these um, because these do tend to get stuck. So what I did is I had a lot of the Morton's um, salt cartons or uh, what is it called packaging. I had a few of those that were empty that were in my spice cabinet. So what I did is I just cut the tops off of those and I added a little bit of scrapbook paper here on top and I used that as my lid um, instead of using this I used those for my lids on my salt and pepper and it works out really nicely because when I go to fill my salt and pepper shakers that are on the table it makes it really easy because I can just open it fill my containers and close it back up so works really really well and I do love that about those so I did I also did it with this salt the bigger salt canister right back there um, I didn't do it with these because these will get stuck in here so I just left these as they are so um, as is so right next to that I have this clear um, little caddy and this is just a three compartment or three section caddy um, it's not tiered but it's fine it just has three different sections and I chose to use this for my seasonings so we don't use a whole lot of packaged seasonings um, these are the few that we do use so I chose to get this small caddy to hold them in um, and then we have some taco seasoning here some chicken taco seasoning and then in the very back I have some uh, gravy uh, country gravy seasoning so that's what our country gravy uh, packet to make gravy so that's all that I keep there so I mean I do have still have some extra space in here if I needed to add some more I can always add some more um, but for right now that's what we have in there so I'm gonna go ahead and move right up top so right up here on the top I have another one of those fridge bins um, containers that you have seen in my baking cabinet I love these because they fit my cabinet perfectly um, so in here I just keep some backup spices um, extra that I had so we don't buy large cans of spices um, we try to get the smaller ones just because I don't like to have spices for too long because I feel like they lose their um, like they're they're not as good so I like to buy the smaller ones and then once they're done we buy just another one I don't buy a whole lot of seasonings or in bulk um, but these are just some backup spices that didn't fit um, in these small jars so I just kind of put them up here in this thing so I love that I know where they're at I can find them get to them but I don't have to see them in the um, when I open the door I just see kind of this I don't have to see the all the cans so right next to that I have a tea bag organizer so we don't drink a whole ton of tea um, but we do have a few on hand so I have them in this clear um, container that I purchased this from um, Amazon and I really love that it's clear I can see everything that I have and it just fits perfectly right there um, for all of our teas so that is it for this side of the cabinet I'm gonna go ahead and open the door for the on the right side so you, get, you guys can see what I did over here on this side so I'm gonna start right up here right up top so right up here on the top shelf I just have my um, mini stainless steel countertop trash can I've had this for quite some time um, I seen them at hotels when we travel and I really love them um, I think I think they're so adorable and cute um, but they're good to have for like makeup like on a vanity or your coffee station um, my trash can is not that close to where I keep my coffee so I didn't want my guests to have to be walking over the trash can to throw away their stir sticks so I thought I would just put it right next to um, my coffee station so that they can throw their trash in there right next to that I have this clear um, container that I purchased off of Amazon I really love this because it holds quite a bit so I have my stir sticks here I have French vanilla creamers and then I usually have half and half of the creamers um, but I, I was out so I went ahead and just filled um, with French vanilla and it holds them really nicely um, and I just put those on my counter um, and my guests can get whatever they need um, when they need it so right down here at the bottom or on the second shelf here I have my backup supplies um, coffee supplies so I have some sugar cubes here and then right back in the back I have some that's where I keep my coffee 
And then right over here to the left, I just have um, this clear container that I got from the Dollar Tree. I love that it has a lid. It holds my filters just perfectly. Um, and I got that from the Dollar Tree. I really love it. Now, if you have a bigger coffee pot or like the bigger filters, they will not fit in here. Um, these are the smaller filters for the smaller coffee pots. I have a 10 cup coffee maker, so it's really tiny. Um, like I said, we don't drink coffee, so it's mainly for our guests when they do come over. So um, I have the small ones, but they fit perfectly if you have the small ones. So right here in the middle, I just have this little um, silver tray. And I really loved this tray. I purchased this from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I really love the way it looks. It looks really pretty. And on there, I just keep my sugar and coffee jars. And when I have company over, um, I don't like them. I don't want them to have to be digging in my cabinets looking for all of my coffee stuff. So usually the night before, if I have somebody um, stay over, stay the night, um, and I know they're that they're gonna drink coffee in the morning. I will set this little tray out as it is. I will set it out and, or I will fill, uh, fill it about halfway with coffee and sugar cubes and I will just get this whole tray and set it on my counter next to my coffee pot so that if they wake up before me, um, they can go ahead and put the coffee um, on. And I usually try to wake up before they do, but um, my dad is a, early bird and he usually be, uh, beats me in the morning and wakes up before I do so I like to have that set out so that if he wants to put um, go ahead and make the coffee in the morning he can so what I do is I will get a new filter put it in the coffee pot fill these up halfway and just set this out um, by the coffee maker so that he's not having to dig around and everything is there that he needs and then I will usually set this um, right on top of that if it's perfectly right on top and then I'll set my trash can out so that they have everything they need to make their coffee and I'll insert a clip so you guys can see so as you guys seen in the clip um, that is my coffee that is how I set it up um, like I said we don't drink coffee all the time but when we do um, we will pull the stuff out and then that's how we will set it up on our counter so I'm gonna go ahead and move right down here um, oh one thing that I forgot to mention is my coffee maker I do not keep here just because it wasn't wide enough or it wasn't tall enough here um, to keep the coffee pot. So the coffee pot I keep somewhere else as well as my cups. My cups I just keep with all my dishes um, and things like that. So it's it, it'll be right where the coffee pot is when I set it out. So I'm going to go ahead and move right down here to the bottom. So right down here on the bottom shelf I just keep uh, the same Lazy Susan that you've seen in my previous photo is the same one. Um, this is by OXO. I purchased this from Bed Bath & Beyond as well. I really love Lazy Susan's inside the cabinet because you can see everything that you have. This one spins really nicely, so I just keep all of our condiments here um, or uh, things that we use. And I love that nothing gets like tucked away behind each other and I can see everything so we're using everything that we need. Um, and then right here I have this marble um, this is for like spices for like garlic and things like that if you need to smash some spices so I really love that I have that here my mom gave me this I don't use it that often but I do um, keep it here just in case um, because it was a gift for my mom so I really do like that and then right back here I have another one of those eight ounce little jars from Target and in here I just keep, um, so it has the uh, the sifter top. So in there I just keep some baking soda um, just to kind of, um, just to kind of mask that smell of the spices. So that way when we open the spice cabinet it's not so overpowering. I mean you will smell a little bit of spice but it's not overpowering um, where that's all you smell. So. That is it you guys for my baking or my spice cabinet slash coffee cabinet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you and God bless you. Also, if you have comments, don't forget to leave those down at the bottom. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye now.